Hello there, travellers. Welcome, welcome. Now, allow me to be the first to introduce myself, for I am the sti- Oh, oh, hang on. You, you haven't happened to see my hat, have you? Oh, dear. Oh, oh no. Um, um, oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> silly me. I must warn you, I can be a little bit forgetful at times. Where was I? Ah, yes. <clears throat> Allow me to be the first to introduce myself, for I am the station master, and you can usually find me on the platform of one, Paddington Station. <whistles> All aboard! All tickets and passes that are ready for inspection, please! Oh, I'm sorry. No, don't worry. You won't need any tickets for where we're going today. Because today, we're taking a little trip to the Lost Property Library. <laughs> this is the place where all the things that people lose on the platform come to be archived. Kept safe. <laughs> people are always losing things. <laughs> we keep these lost things safe because each item has a tale to tell. <laughs> well, not literally, of course. I don't think that old umbrella is gonna start to speak, <laughs> no. Because here, at the Lost Property Library, we preserve the stories attached to each item. Within this library, you will find all sorts, like suitcases and letters, and foreign exports. I collect every item of lost property and add each one to my inventory. And the sign above the place where I keep them reads, please look after these stories. <laughs> From oh, umbrellas to keys and a stethoscope, a wooden leg once, oh, and a golden telescope. <laughs> Ooh, lost tickets and trunks and hats made of suede, and once a sandwich filled with marmalade. <laughs> it's my job to keep safe all these lost stories, to collect them, to file them in categories. Some of them real, some just imagined. Stories from items lost or abandoned. All bottled, all stamped, and all labelled to find in the lost property library for all humankind. <laughs> I think the best way for me to show you what I mean is with an example. And the first lost property in question is a bear. A little bear who was found sat alone on the station platform. A bear called Paddington. Paddington grew up a long, long way from here. <laughs> oh, in a place called Peru. That's in South America. Paddington grew up under the care of his dear Aunt Lucy. <laughs> oh. When Aunt Lucy got a little bit older, she went to live in the home for retired bears. And Paddington was sent to live in England. So, he packed a case. And then stowed away inside a boat. Land ahoy! Before boarding a train. And finally, tucking into his very favourite marmalade sandwiches. Mm. Huh? Only to discover that his Aunt Lucy had sent him a photo to remember her. And at that very moment, the little bear looked up 
to see the train pulling into the platform that bears his name. Paddington. And it was on the platform that he was found with a label around his neck that read, please look after this bear. And this little bear went on to have a lot of adventures. <laughs> so many adventures. With a lovely family called the Browns, if I remember correctly. <laughs> wow, so many adventures. <laughs> oh, but I should stay on track. Get it? Dream track? Oh, um, time for another story. Uh, let's see. Um, oh no. Um, perfect. <clears throat> Allow me to introduce Miss Matilda Hummingbird, who was making her way home woo, through a crowded Paddington station on her way home from Salsa Lessons. Ah, da, 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 da. <laughs> Miss Matilda was walking home through Paddington Station when suddenly she dropped her keys. <laughs> and she didn't realize she had dropped them until she got home. And it started to get dark. Oh no, <gasps> my keys. She stood frozen on the doorstep looking up at the house. What was she going to do? Then suddenly, Matilda had an idea. If she shimmied up the drain pipe to the first floor bathroom window, which was open just a crack, she could prise it open and climb inside. Now, you and I both know that that is an absolutely ridiculous plan, but Miss Matilda Hummingbird was not to be told. So she decided to climb. She was about a metre and a half off the ground when suddenly she lost a shoe. And as the shoe hit the ground, Matilda suddenly remembered that she was terrified of heights. But luckily for Matilda, at that exact moment, the friendly neighbour from next door heard her screams. Are you a robber or what? Um, uh, no, I, I've just lost my keys and I'm just trying to get inside. So you thought you'd do a good Spider-Man impression, eh? Um, well, I don't know. Um, oh, just help me, please. And luckily for Matilda, he did. He helped her off the drain pipe. <sighs> Thank you. And he suddenly remembered that Matilda's mother had given his father a spare key for the house. And he said, I think that's probably a better idea of how to get inside, yeah? <laughs> Bertie, I think his name was. Yeah. And him and Matilda went on to be the best of friends after that incident. <laughs> Very good friends indeed. But there was another incident with a second drain pipe and a missing hat, but ugh, that is a story for another day. <laughs> Oh, I want to tell you the story of the lost umbrella. <laughs> oh, you will not believe how many umbrellas I find on the station platform. There are loads of them. And when the sun comes back out, people always forget about their umbrellas. But this umbrella was found on the platform one very rainy day. Oh no. Oh, look at the label, it's all smudged. Oh, I can't read it. Oh dear. And I can't remember who owned it, how it came to be here, or what story it has to tell. Oh, well that's the problem, you see. Sometimes I get a bit forgetful and, and things get completely lost. Oh, oh. and for example, 
this photo album filled with adventures, but some of the photos have disappeared entirely. Oh, and oh, I've just discovered this poetry book filled with poems, but look at the pages. Oh, there are lots missing. Oh dear, oh dear, this simply won't do. Uh, oh, I've just had an idea. What if you help me find the lost photos, poems and items to add back into the lost property library? Oh, there is a host of activities where you too can contribute to the library of lost things. Oh, great. And I cannot wait to see all of the fantastic things that you come up with. Farewell, travellers. Office hours are over. Until next time, the end.